Hello everyone and thank you for watching another episode. Before we begin, I just need to quickly apologize. I recently threw out my lower back and when I shot this video around five days ago, I was in excruciating pain. And typically what I try to do is get the best lighting, multiple camera angles, just to make it a little bit more fluid, a little bit easier to watch. But in this case, the lighting wasn't the best and uh, really reviewing the footage, I wish I had more camera angles, but again, it was something I had to get done rather quickly because I was just in really horrible pain. But that being said, this will show you the complete process. Finding those bushings, removing them, installing the new polyurethane bushings, and putting everything, and putting everything back together. And that being said, we'll continue work on this 2010 Subaru. Still so have to do lower control arms, valve cover gaskets, maybe an exhaust, and I'd love to hear your feedback. If this is something that you want to see, please let me know because I know there's other videos out there on these things, but uh, nonetheless, if this is something you want to watch, please leave those comments and you know we can uh, do a better job for, uh, for the viewers out there. Thank you for watching again, and let's get to now it. I'll be jacking up the vehicle from the front cross member, which is right there, and of course, we'll place the vehicle on jack stands. Now before you begin, always spray down some PB Blaster, WD-40, whatever penetrant you have, because not only can these be tough to remove, you don't want them to snap in. Subarus, I will say, uh, you can snap a number of fasteners on these cars, so certainly use the penetrant. Now I'm having some trouble backing this off so I'm going to get a breaker bar. And this is what a breaker bar looks like. In this case, I have 19 inches of leverage to really crank these fasteners off. There we go. Okay. And now we'll move over to the passenger side. Okay, same deal. Break a bar. There we go. Now the last one, there's a fastener right here, but the exhaust is in the way. So we can't use a breaker bar on that. But I'm going to break the 12 millimeter fasteners. And uh, maybe we'll use a, a hammer just to knock that out. Okay, so here we go. Again, use a heavy hammer. The heavier, the better. A carpenter's hammer may be a little tough. There we go. Okay. So this is the driver's side, and when you remove this bracket, you'll see that there's an arrow pointing forward. So when you reinstall this, just make sure the arrow is pointing forward, okay? And this is a slit. And there you go. There's your old bushing. And this is the passenger side, same thing. Make sure you note where the arrow's pointing. And just slide it right off. Okay, really the hardest part, as you can see, it's certainly time to replace these. Hardest part really is sometimes just removing these fasteners. See here in the bottom we have the original rubber bushings. Not only are they hard, but they're also starting to crack up. So a good time to replace them. These again are polyurethane. Now these happen to be purchased off Amazon. Energy suspension, very good reviews. Now I did read a number of those reviews and uh, they stated that these do not have the slits in them. Now maybe they've updated them because I have no issues here. In other words, it's not one continuous unit. Now if, if you do purchase your polyurethane bushings and it's just one unit, you don't have the slits, 
Then what you have to do is remove the sway bar. I'll show you how in a second. Remove the sway bar. You have some lube here. You lube up the inside and you just snake the uh, bushing onto the sway bar and that's it. But ultimately, let me just bring you back down to the car and uh, we'll wrap it up. Now again, if you do need to remove the sway bar, take a look on the ends. You have the sway bar links and right here is a fastener. We have a video showing on how to remove these. Very, very simple. So you just remove the sway bar link here on the driver's side and the passenger side and right slap in the middle you have the cross member uh, brace. You just remove this and the whole sway bar comes right out. So it's quite simple on this uh, Subaru. Some other cars you have to drop the entire subframe just to remove the sway bar. So fortunately on the Subaru here it's uh, pretty simple. So I'm just going to slip this right over and I did lube up the inside as well. Okay, and again, remember that bracket has the, can you see that? Let's see, let me bring it a little bit closer. There you go, has the arrow facing forward. Okay, and really it's just the reverse procedure of everything you just saw. Now we've wrapped up the installation and I want to make sure nothing is clunking. I don't hear any abnormal noises. Take some turns, go over some bumps, make sure everything is butter quiet. And that really wraps up the installation. So we will continue working on this front end. We still have to do lower control arms, uh, the struts we just did a few days ago, and we'll just sort of get it up to speed again. With that being said, thank you for watching. Any questions, comments, please leave it below and we'll see you next time.